Aha! Here we are with our Aliyah Yomi. We're going to do 30 minutes of, of immersive learning, which the last couple of classes was our full class, but it's not always going to be that way. Sometimes I'll just pull out grammar directly, and other times, but I want us to be more and more in the text, okay? And uh, sometimes we'll do some stuff that's not Torah, but that's our focus right now is Torah mastery. And then the Torah you will find is your table of contents, jumping into the rest of Scripture, right? Feeling confident and strong with Torah Hebrew will make it so you can attack that Isaiah scroll when you're ready, right? Or you can attack, you know, the, the, the Kings, the reading of the Kings, or whatever, or Joshua, whatever. You've, actually, Joshua is on the same level as Torah Hebrew. It's pretty much the same. So, in fact, there are some, I don't know if you've ever seen this, there are many books in the 1800s, they call them like what, the Hexaplas or something like that, where it's the Torah plus Joshua. <laughs> you have those six books in one book, kind of interesting. Okay, so let's get started. Here we are, Deuteronomy chapter 7, <laughs> verse 12. Today's Torah portion, this week's Torah portion is Aikev, Aikev, which means many things. And uh, let me get a volunteer reader, please, for verse 12. Somebody read. Rabbi. Yo. I'm going to read, I'm going to read Rabbi. Okay. Okay. Bihaya Ekeb. Tishmun et hamispatim haele ush ush martem baash baashitem baashitem otam bi shamar adunai eloheka leka at, at, what's that? Sorry, at, the, the color makes it Yeah. Score. <laughs> yeah. At, I, I cannot read. That. Okay, yeah. Sorry, it's Habrit. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do the color yeah. version. The et ha chesed. Okay, you take over the white word. Yes, okay. Asher nosh. Nosbe Mishba Ah Mishba yeah Mishba Mishba La uh, La Aboteka okay, La Boteka great. great long verse okay thank you Yeah so this this is a screenshot from the Bible program I use so that's why you'll see some words are highlighted or when there's a little triangle I have kind of a note on it or when it's on fire I thought that was a very interesting uh <laughs> something to remember so uh, let's, let's, so let's deal with it. Let's take a look. Okay. So verse twelve. Vehaya aikev tishmaun et hamispatim ha'eli. Okay. So what is vehaya, guys? Anybody? Vehaya. And it will be. Good. And it will be aikev. What's aikev? Does anybody know that word? Because. Okay. So one meaning is because. Because. So it can mean because. And who knows another meaning? Heal. Yes, heal. the heel. Very good. The heel, not to make better, but like the back part of the foot, right? Heel. Okay. What's another meaning? Consequently. Nice. Consequently. Nice. The consequence. I'm just going to say the consequence. Okay. The consequence, and more specifically, a positive aspect of consequence, the reward. It can mean a reward. So the aikiv of your action, the reward, okay? And the aikiv can also be like, um, I guess it's more of a metaphor. So you're right about heel. The aikiv of a tzava, of an army, it's like the tail part, the last part of the army that's kind of following behind, okay? Okay, great. So it will be as a consequence, let's just say, or as a reward, or or win, because you do, because what? Tish me'un, what's that mean? Here, obey. You obey. obey. From Shama. Very good. You obey. You obey. Good. Okay. And is there anything special on this word, guys? <laughs> yes. Very good, Yomar. You heard my mind. I was thinking, Yomar, Yomar. Yomar. He, he, he spoke up nice. Because <laughs> I know usually I tell Yomar to sit back so you guys can answer. But go ahead. The reins are off. You guys can speak up, Doc and Yomar. Feel free. <laughs> so, Tishma'un. Good. So, the noon. The noon. Good point. What does that mean, guys? Yomar? What's the noon tell us then? Red. 
I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you had that. Well, that's fine, but you notice it there. Who, who knows what the noon is telling us? The noon. Is it emphasis? Uh, yeah, is it yeah. Feminine? Yeah, yeah. It's right. It's kind of like an exclamation point, right? The technical term is paragogic. Paragogic. The paragogic noon. Okay. That's supposed to be a noon, Sophie. Okay. And there is a little bit of controversy about this. But the majority of scholars, and I've read quite a bit on this in the, uh, the Journal of Hebrew Language and in the Journal of Northwest Semitic Studies, and, um, and in the, uh, what's the other one? Anyway, um, the majority of articles I have read agree that this is an, emphasize, an emphasizing letter here. So Tishma'un means you definitely, like something like you definitely hear, you definitely will listen to, right? You definitely will hear. You're going to do it, or you will hear, and it will be as a consequence of your hearing, something like that. And it's funny, just something I want to share real quick. Uh, years back, I tried to read the, I learned how to read Arabic, the letters. That doesn't mean I know the language, just how to read the letters and the vowels, right? You know. And then I tried to read the Quran. Right? Let's see if it's close to biblical Hebrew. I was thinking, oh, it's classical Arabic. It's kind of close in time frame to, to post-biblical Hebrew, Mishnaic Hebrew. Maybe it's close enough to understand, right? And uh, uh, the, the answer to that is no, <laughs> it's not. And maybe only a third of the words were close enough to understand. But uh, it's hilarious reading. If you know biblical Hebrew to read the Quran, it's very funny sounding because every other word is un. Un. It's got this paragogic noon. And so it's kind of like he's shouting. <laughs> it feels like every third word he shouts. So to me, I was laughing all the time as I was reading. Oh my gosh, why is it you can't emphasize everything? If you emphasize everything, it becomes nothing. Maybe it means something different in Arabic, but coming from a Hebrew background, it was funny to me. Okay, et hamishpatim, the hamishpatim. What's that, guys? Judgments. The judgments, right? The judgments. Yeah, the judgments. You could even mean uh, the verdicts, right? So. Like the idea is, uh, oftentimes Mishmatim, okay, it's got two meanings, right? We've got literal judgments, like you guys said. That's our 5,000 meter high meaning, right? Judgments. But when it's in the context of other commandments, like mitzvot and pikudim and uh, chokim and Mishmatim, then when we surround it in that context, the nuance becomes the decisions that were made by the religious courts. Right? And how to interpret a commandment. Right? So you have a commandment, and then the religious court, or Moses himself, if it's in the time when Moses is alive, makes the decision, this is how you will tie the tzitzit. Okay? Now it is a mishpat. You understand? So it can mean either thing. It can mean just very general judgments. Right? But when you pull it down in the context of other words that mean commands, precepts, statutes, then it means those things that the court decided. Right? That a religious bait then decided. Okay? Right. Ha'ele, what's that? Ha'ele. This. Good. This is a demonstrative adjective. Very nice, right? So you guys see we have noun, and then we have, as Doc said, demonstrative adjective. Yomar, you're you're free reigns this session, okay? You you guys can talk as much as you like. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting back, I think, so everybody else can answer. But I'm, I'm you can speak up if you like, okay, bro? <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, so. And here we have their plural, right? Masculine, plural. Uh, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Just just letting you know, feel free to let the bullets fly. You know, translate away. Amispatim Ha'ele. And as Doc said, it's demonstrative adjective. Usham Artem. What's this one, guys? Now, this is nice. because Card. Just... Okay. Keep them. Okay, so what if I didn't have Shemar. to? Yeah, yep. So guard. Atem. Yep, guard. Atem. Safeguard. Guard. Mm -hmm. Keep. Protect, right? All those things are possible. So shemartem means you all protected, you all safeguarded, right? What does u shemartem mean? And uh, it's a bad conversive. Yes, 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 yes. You guys got that? It's vav conversive, right? So like we were talking about before, usually for the perfect, we'll have vav and the schwa in it, right? But he still follows the normal pointing rules for the conjunction. So in this case. What's the rule here? Why did we make this into a shurik? Yeah, that's a question. <laughs> that's my question. Oh, okay, okay. Bum shua? Yes, Yomar said it. The bum rule shua. is bump schwa. Because it's bump, if it were a labial, schwa. Right? 
So if the letter that's in front of it is a b m p o sound, a labial sound, or if it has a ding 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 schwa underneath it, we can't start the word mm. with two schwas in a row, can we? So we change it to ooh. oh, that's that's the kosher sign. <laughs> you guys ever see them in food? It's the Orthodox Union kosher sign. Like when you buy M and M's or something imported from America, usually it'll have that. It'll have the the O with a U on the inside. That's one of the kosher signs. It means Orthodox Union. <laughs> okay, got it. You got it, Doc. Yep. Okay, cool. Oh, man, the drip move. <laughs> Thank you. Good. So Usham Artem, and you will safeguard and protect. Va'asitem otam. Va'asitem otam. And do them. And you will do. Yeah. And, you do. and, and you do, do them. Great. And do them. Great. So, asitem, what does asitem by itself mean without the vowel? Uh, that, do them. That's a, that's a, uh, he, perfect. perfect. Right, perfect, right. So, perfect that's means. Conversing. So, if it just that's said amazing. asitem without the vowel, if it just said asitem otam, what's that mean? You did. You, you did, did them. You did, did them. Did them. Right. Did them. And this is, you're right, valve conversive. And why is there patah under it? What's going on here? If this is a perfect, usually for perfect, we, we have over here, right? Yes. Okay. Good. Before composite schwa. That's right. You can't have two schwas in a row at the beginning of the word, right? So we try to point it, we try to point it like this one over here. Right? We can't because two schwas in a row. So then we copy the sound from the composite schwa. He moves over there, right? Okay, good. Vasitem otam, and you will do otam then. So otam again is just the uh, et plus pronominal suffix them, right? Otam becomes otam. Okay. Vishama Adonai Elohecha lecha. Okay, what's Vishama Adonai Elohecha mean? The Lord your God will keep. Yeah, that's right. So again, we have another vowel conversive situation. Right? That one, okay. Cool. And this one. And this one, all over this verse. Okay, good. And Adonai your God will keep. So the inference is, you could even translate this, if, sometimes the vowel means if, if you will safeguard and do them, then Adonai your God will safeguard Lacha, you. And this is speaking to the individual, not just community. That's a masculine singular, right? And we always default to the masculine. So this is inclusive of ladies too. It's just where the grammar defaults to masculine. Okay? Lacha. You guys got that? If and then. Right? The vav, you, you can be flexible with your vav, so it sounds correct in English. And oftentimes there is kind of an if, then, or when. It could be when you safeguard and do these, then Adonai, your God will keep you. Right? Okay? Et haberit ve'et hachesed. Okay? Okay, actually this is probably for you. Sorry, Adonai, your God will keep for you. And I mentioned this before to you guys, but I, I didn't catch it just now. So, but I caught it on my second pass. <laughs> this happens. So, remember our normal order, verb plus subject, right? But what happens a lot of times if you have a little indirect object, a sneaky indirect object, likes to snake in there. So, oftentimes right after the verb, before the subject, you get the indirect object. And that's what this guy is. The Lamed. He jumped in there, didn't he? He, he jumped, not, not before the subject in this case, but before the object. Here's our object. Ah, come back, come back. Oftentimes, they'll even jump in over here before the subject even comes across. In this case, Adonai Lehecha did come first. So we have verb, subject, object, right? In this case, definite object is this guy. And then the indefinite. Ah, stop, stop, stop. The indefinite object. Indirect object. I mean, indirect, not indefinite. Indirect object, okay? Or the data that you studied synthetic languages. Okay? To you. Et, so what is Hashem going to keep? 
את הברית. דה קובנט. דה קובנט. ואת החסד. דה לויאלטי. יאה, דה קלן לויאלטי, נייס. אשר נשבע לאבותיך. אשר? which which nishpa you might not know this off of him nishpa is a nifal beyond oh. yeah it needs to swear an oath right? oh. yeah which yeah, he oath sure. you could say which he oath or he swore an oath lavo techa what's this lavo techa exactly for your four or two your fathers okay, hold on i need a mute hold on somebody's got some background noise okay feel free to speak up it's fine i just didn't know who had the noise But you swore, so then we have... Rabbi, how about ancestors? Yes, you, that's also fair. That's a fair translation. Yeah. So whenever, uh, whenever it's Avot, uh, you, you can always translate that as ancestors if you like. Yeah. The Fathers question. is kind of more King Jamesian. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. If uh, you said that the Vav, like, uh, where's that? Uh, where's the Vav there? Yeah, the, the Ushmartem Ul... Asitem. So he, it could be taken to mean if, yes. but the first series of verb was Tishmeun. So wouldn't it also apply, get the idea that if you will uh, obey or hear the judgments, uh, this judgment, and if, shouldn't it start with the idea in the first verb? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can put it there, but I'm not sure how to make that sound good in English. So, <laughs> right? <laughs> so you're right that the actual, the reach of the of the condition can come back to this tishmeun. Also because we have ekev, right? Which can mean because. Even though I was saying like uh, Tom said consequence or reward, it's, it's kind of loaded with that pregnant meaning, but it can mean because, right? So as a consequence, or it will be because you have listened. So definitely there's some kind of the conditional feeling does come back here. I just don't know how to put the if in English there and make it make sense. So yeah, that's definitely a valid, valid point you're making. So maybe if you were diagramming this, right, for somebody, you could, in your diagram, you could put that the condition seems to be with Tishmeun, right? If you will listen Rabbi, to the judgments, I'm right? Sorry, sir. Which hints about obey. Yeah, go ahead, Yoma. Is it vocal? Ushmartem or Ushe? Vocal. Ushmartem. Vocal. Toda. Yeah. Okay. Toda. Because U is the only vowel that can start a syllable in biblical Hebrew, right? So he is his own open syllable. That's the only one that can, right? Usually we have to start with the consonant. So U, there's our syllable. So we have a new syllable now. Shmartem, right? This one so Rabbi, this one it, it also follows the vocal schwa, the rules of vocal schwa. And it preceded by a long vowel. Right, right. Vocal. So that's how we know it's vocal. Yep, yeah, exactly. So right, that, because that. it starts a syllable. Yeah, good. Yeah, because if a, if a schwa is preceded by a long vowel, then that means it's starting a new syllable. Right? So, and whenever you start a syllable, it's vocal. Okay, good. Any other comments or questions? You notice down here we have, again, la abutecha, the same phenomenon happening as up here, right? You can't have two schwas in a row, so the composite schwa value is copying over here. Okay. okay. Let me see. How I question. Yeah. So if the tishmeun is an imperfect verb. Yes. So it could be translated and it will be as a consequence, you will obey the judgment. Is that how it could be mechanically translated? Yeah, you could say that, yeah. Yes. So it means that uh, as a consequence, so there must be a precedence. Yeah. We should probably look at uh, verse 11. <laughs> it's quite useful <laughs> to look at verse 11. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very nice. Okay. As a nice. Yeah, nice. so as a consequence of what of the precedence that was mentioned earlier, you will obey yep. the judgment, this judgment, and if you will keep, uh, I don't see the sense, you will obey and then there's a conditional if you will keep them, if you will keep, if you will do them. Uh, I don't see the logic where in the beginning it's a stated fact or a stated uh, action 
And then later on, it's a conditional. So I would probably attack it this way, right? So first, let's go Peshat. And you remember, Naomi, very first for Akev said, because, right? Because. So let's look at it if it's like because, and then we can look at maybe these other consequence, reward, heal. So let's, let's try to break it down. Now, see, the Munah, this guy, tells me there's a connection with this word to the the next one. This is a conjunctive accent, and this one is also connected to this guy, right? So these guys are continuing thought, okay? So let's see if this helps to read down. So, and it will be because you will listen to the Mishpatim, to these Mishpatim, if you will, and you have to infer also, safeguard and do them, then Adonai, your God, will keep will safeguard the covenant and the clan loyalty for you, which he swore to your ancestors, right? I know, I see the consequence, yeah. Yeah, is that uh, what That's it, you, you, yeah, you uh, give a uh, sort of a declarative action, right. and then the additional uh, action uh, that if you will do then the rest. Right, so the hearing to... isn't enough. The hearing isn't enough, right? Yeah. The, that's why we got the asita mutam, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sound good? Okay. Thanks. Yeah, and that's, it's kind of yep. difficult syntactically. So usually, that's the only time I'll usually eyeball the, the ta'amin, right? Which, again, we'll get to that. It's advanced, the ta'amin. But so usually I just don't really pay attention to the ta'amin, except where to stop at the end of the clause and where the end of the verses. But sometimes when the syntax gets a bit sticky like this, then we look at the tradition and see how they're interpreting it, how the Nazareth are giving us little hints. How the words flow and connect and stuff. So, yeah, good, nice, good discussion. Any other comments or questions? So, so Rabbi, I read about uh, the word "akev" in Genesis twenty-six five. Okay. When Adonai spoke to Isaac, he said in verse five, "Akev, Asher Shama Abraham," because Abraham obeyed. The same word is "akev." Uh, hold on, yes, hold on. Genesis twenty-six five. Also, though, yes. the sages also interpreted to be a reward there, right? It's it's like Avram's mm -hmm. reward. So, I give a sheshema Avraham. So, the reward or the consequence. <laughs> oh, let me mute. Okay, somebody's dog wants to participate. <laughs> the consequence, then, uh, when Shema Avraham. So, Asher can also mean when, you'll find. You can see a hello, sometimes it means when. When Avraham obeyed, when he heard. Oh, yeah, when he obeyed me. And safeguarded my services of my commandments, my statutes, and my laws, my Torahs. Then Yitzhak dwelled in Biglar. Okay, so did that answer the question? So it could be because, or it could be like the reward of that thing, the reward of it is. So it's even saying that Abraham's own reward is that. He would get a chance to keep the mitzvot. And this is also where the sages get the concept that Torah observance is in and of itself its own reward. Right? We shouldn't hope for something as a result of keeping the Torah. Getting to keep the Torah is in and of itself a reward. It is our aikiv in and of itself. It is our enjoyment. It is the gift that we get to speak God's love language. That we get to live his love language back to him to profess our love, our adoration, and our chesed back, our claim loyalty back. Good? Thank you. Sure. Okay, guys, so I think that's a good place to, to stop today. Uh, we are at 6.03 p.m. Um, so... Uh, just an additional comment. Sure. Uh, regarding what the Genesis 25, uh, since the your father obeyed, then you will also reap the reward of your of Abraham. It's a reap the reward of Abraham by obeying the yes. commandments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Okay, great. So let's do this. For uh, your homework, please read, I won't say the whole Aliyah, it's kind of long, the first Aliyah, but read at least... Uh, Oh, yeah, you can read it. You can read it. Read the first Aliyah from this week's Torah portion. And uh, for the first several verses, I'll let you guys decide how much you want to do. 
annotate everything you notice like what we have done here. That is interesting, okay? You don't have to annotate definite article. That's already obvious by this point. You don't have to annotate inseparable prepositions unless you want to. But anything of interest you see, uh, please go ahead and annotate it. Like, oh, this is perfect, imperfect, loud conversive. Um, oh, wow, I found an infinite absolute, or look at all the things. Maybe it's interesting to you just how many things are stacked on one word, right? And, uh, and you can do that as a group if you like, or individually, that's fine. But uh, let's wrestle with the text. And please, as always, review your vocabulary, okay? Make sure that all the words that occur in the Torah 100 times or more in your list, that you're up to date, because next week I'm going to start giving you some more vocabulary words. We're going to go a bit deeper, okay? All right, guys, uh, have a good week, and feel free. You can always ask questions in the Hebrew Literacy chat. That is specifically Toda. for intermediate students. All right, intermediate two, you made it. Thank you. 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 Thank Right, right. Thank you. 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 you. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday! 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 Happ